Hello, friends, and welcome to another amazing episode. This is on uh, face yoga, and this is from the GIGF or the Get In Get Fit series. So let's get started. You're going to understand a lot more about face yoga, the theory part, along with that, a practical session and uh, answering your doubts too. So let's get started. So good evening, friends. Uh, we're going to talk about the Get In, Get Fit series, uh, the face yoga exercises by Dr. Vidya Hari Ayer. Uh, face yoga is basically strength training for your face and neck muscles. The more you practice it, obviously, you're going to have a much more toner skin, much more healthier skin, and your skin texture will definitely uh, get to improve. Uh, and uh, what you can do is you can see a lot of noticeable aging, which is uh, reduced and uh, you can strengthen your face and your weak facial muscles. And of course, increase your blood flow on your face because the blood flow increases. You will have a skin which looks more smoother and more radiant. And it also stimulates your facial muscles, which help them become much more tighter, toned, and thereby you will have reduced symptoms of sagging. It will also improve circulation, which means the food uh, and the nutrient uh, would go to your uh, face much better. And this is beneficial for your skin to look clean and neat. It will also reduce uh, the stress and the strain on your face. And thereby you will see that, you know, uh, whatever uh, strain that you go through through the day, whether you are looking at a screen uh, on a computer or you're going to actually uh, work around your cell phone, uh, you will see all those stress and strain around your eye muscles, your neck muscles, all of that will also get relieved. The face yoga basically approaches also, uh, you know, what not only massage, it also gets into the acupressure techniques that assists in actually uh, helping the face to uh, relieve themselves of tension. So uh, here you are able to see a lot of lines on the face. You have the frown lines, you have the worry lines, you have the crow's feet at the end of the eye, you have the nasolabial folds and the smile lines. And uh, during the practical session, you will see that, you know, we will be helping you to uh, work around these uh, lines at least so that, you know, you can tighten up your skin. So face yoga refers to facial exercises that are done to stretch and tone the muscles of the face, especially uh, to, you know, reduce or, uh, you know, try to delay the aging process. And thereby you will have a slim looking, younger looking face. And uh, this has also been a treatment for a lot of uh, facial uh, paralysis like uh, Bell's palsy or any stroke patients who are unable to, uh, you know, maneuver to through their lips and their eye. So uh, in uh, Bell's palsy, you will see that, you know, there will be a kind of a wrinkle bow. You will see that there is a drooping of the eye and the uh, there is inability to close the eye. There is inability to puff the cheek also. There is an asymmetrical smile. And there is a drooping on the corner of the mouth and also a dry mouth. So all these together would uh, see, be seen as a facial asymmetry or a facial paralysis also. So when you do these massages, you will be actually trying to help these patients uh, to recover faster and have a, a even or a symmetrical facial expressions, especially when they are trying to smile. Uh, in uh, basically a lot of studies which has been done in age change is also where patients have a lot of sagginess and degeneration of the facial muscle and facial tissues. We see that these face yogas or face workouts as they call it uh, helps in disappearance of this uh, aging skin. And uh, if you are looking out for a glowing skin uh, without any invasive treatment then definitely the face yoga helps a lot. So face yoga, if you can understand, you can place your palms on your uh, face and uh, on your temples and try to push your palms at the back and then, you know, lift up your side of the face. Thereby, you're trying to stretch your face upwards and, uh, you know, sideways and thereby you are trying to reduce the sagginess of your face. And uh, there are many uh, facial uh, yoga exercises that we will be uh, running you through just to help you understand that when you do this uh, in a very systematic manner, you will be uh, starting to have a much better, cleaner uh, face, right? 
And uh, there are uh, the top uh, six uh, benefits of face yoga. One, it tightens your facial skin. It improves your blood supply to the face. It also minimizes the appearance of wrinkles. It increases the glow on your face. It tones your facial muscles and also reduces signs of early aging. And in case there is any facial aging in particular, you can see that you can look good, feel good, and you know, uh, feel like that you know you are uh, really uh, living your life. Uh, with a lot of self-love and self-care. Today in the market, there are many, uh, you know, equipments that can help you to uh, do these face yoga. Like you can see in this uh, picture, you can see a kind of a mouth prop where you place it and you roll it and you suck it so that you can suck in your cheek muscles. Thereby, you can see that uh, uh, the entire face uh, gets a nice chiseled effect, right? So it helps to reduce the fine lines and wrinkles. It tones and boosts the cheek volume. It lifts the skin surrounding the eyes and avoids any under eye bags and sagging. It aids in tightening the skin around the neck and the jawline and reduces the muscular tension, discomfort and any strained posture that the patient might have. The human face basically has around 43 muscles and these 43 muscles uh, are uh, very complex muscles. So sometimes they are separate and sometimes they are grouped in uh, numbers and uh, separating the skin and the muscle in the middle, uh, you have the uh, fat uh, layers and with age this fat actually comes down and you can see the muscle relaxes and uh, you know loses its elasticity and these uh, fat pads uh, which are stored between the muscle and the skin they become a little more thinner and thereby you can see that there is a lot of fine lines and wrinkles and sagginess and hollowness and loss of volume on the face thereby you see that you know the the, the face uh, starts to uh, look a lot more older. So uh, we are very particular about the facial massage direction. On the forehead, it goes upwards. On the glabular region, it goes on the sideways. On the cheeks, it's always upwards and sideways. On the chin, it is upwards. On the neck, it's upwards. In the whole face, you can see that the entire facial massage direction is so very important. We start the face yoga with uh, basically, uh, you know, washing our face uh, and, uh, you know, applying uh, some kind of a cream or coconut oil. If you're using a serum, you need to apply the thin serum first. Uh, drink lots of water before you start and you can do uh, maybe three minutes or three to five minutes of deep breathing. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth and relax yourself. You can also play some music in the background as you do. Close your eyes gently and start doing it so that, you know, you get the full effect of this facial yoga. So let's start with face tapping. As you see in the picture, you these are the emotional freedom technique tapping points or the acupressure points. And once you start tapping these areas, that is the top of the head, the eyebrow point, the upper part of the eyebrows, the side of the eye, the under eye, the under nose, so the under chin, and then you have the collarbone point and uh, you know the uh, sh shoulder point. So all these points, when you start tapping, you are actually releasing a lot of uh, stored energy and uh, uh, negativity which is there on your face and once you do that you start feeling to relax so how do you do this you get a calming and a circulatory uh, benefit uh, of uh, the yoga and here you gently uh, tap the skin of your face uh, with your fingers and uh, start from your forehead go downwards and uh, you know gently tap and just don't stop with the face go around your neck also and if possible at the back and finish by uh, rubbing your palms and uh, you know you can do it with uh, uh, deep breaths and uh, this uh, will help you start to relax relax before you start doing the actual exercises. So now let's start with the bro smoothener. So for the bro smoothener, you have the muscle called the frontalis there. And this is a sizable muscle and this needs to be uh, relaxed because these are the muscles which are overworked uh, through the day. And uh, you have a lot of stress-related uh, expressions when you have uh, this frontalis muscle uh, getting, uh, you know, overworked. So the first thing is you place your fingertips on the middle of your forehead and then you pull it up and and move towards your temples and uh, then you set your fingers free and you can do this for 30 seconds or more. 
Next is the eye area. Eye, you can see the dark circles, the puffy eyes, the wrinkles, the eye bags. And uh, usually when you have any internal uh, disturbances from your uh, liver uh, or the kidneys, you will see these eye bags coming up. You will see even in cholesterol changes of your body, you will see these uh, puffy eyes and the eye bags coming. You will also see dark circles and uh, wrinkles starting when you're not having a proper nutrition and good amount of sleep. So it's very important uh, in the eye region, use only your ring finger. You start from the inner side of your brows and gently go around your eye and uh, spend a few minutes pressing your temples in this region because it will release the energy, the negative energy. And then uh, you can go around your upper eyelid and uh, then move towards your crow's feet. And uh, the uh, the basic exercises that you can do are along with your uh, ring finger and you can do the dark circle buster, frown preventer, where you can use all your fingers on your forehead. You can do the forehead dab or the tapping and then the mini V around the eye to just give the pressure points a lot more, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of a pressure so that they release the negative uh, energy. Next is the acupressure point for the third eye. The acupressure for the third eye can be done. Uh, I'm sure for all those people who wear a bindi, you will understand you place the bindi on the center because uh, that is the place of the Agna Chakra. It's very important, the third eye point. And uh, this point uh, will, uh, you know, when you place uh, of your finger, your index finger there uh, on a daily basis, you can see that it improves the skin texture, it reduces stress and anxiety. It relieves your headache, the neck pain and the eye strain. So you just have to uh, place your index finger in between your brows and gently hold there for 10 seconds and inhale deeply and concentrate and then relax yourself. So this, uh, when you do it for at least about 20 seconds or more, would uh, definitely help you. Next is the lion's breath or the lion's pose. This is called the Simhasana Pranayama. And here you can see you sit in a Vajrasana and then you push your legs apart, hold your hands on the floor and make a round sound called Ha. So when you say this Ha, it's forcing your air through uh, your mouth and over your tongue's base. And uh, this you can do when you take a deep breath and say it. And you will see that this is the best face exercise. It uh, basically increases the blood flow to the face. It reduces the thin lines. It keeps away any respiratory infection and halitosis from the mouth. It also keeps the eye healthy by stimulating the nerves. Only care should be taken that when you do this exercise, like after sitting on the Vajrasana, when you push your hands down and do it, put your tongue out and say ha you always concentrate your eyes upwards towards the third eye point that is the agna chakra right and there are a few variations of this pose you can see that uh, in the basic variation you can keep your arms on your uh, thighs or uh, on the knees and still work on it or your leg variation is when you sit uh, and then you do the same samhasana and thereby you roll your tongue you move your neck forward and backwards too so this is the lion's breath or the roaring lion pose wherein you're increasing your blood circulation to your face and by saying ha, you're going to increase, uh, you know, the best uh, facial uh, expression yoga that you can have. The benefits of face massage is to have a smoother skin. It reduces acne. It, all the face products are absorbed better and it detoxifies the skin. It relieves the tension, relieves pain, brightens the complexion and reduces aging sign. And we also do this to minimize the frown lines on the face and the forehead. So this is a very simple exercise. Uh, and you can see the facial wrinkles are many in number. So it is very important for us to actually uh, reduce all this and even uh, the bunny lines on your nose, right? So what you need to do is uh, take your pointing finger and then move around from the center towards the extremities of your face, gently with your finger points and try to raise your eyebrows for the upper eye part for the lower gently press it and then move it on the external aspect you can do it for about six seconds each uh, five to ten uh, times for the cheek, uh, you need to have a sculpted cheek. Uh, this is going to uh, increase the glow and gives a more youthful looking uh, face. 
you place your hands on either side of your face and uh, you have to go uh, in a circular motion, moving your fingers upwards and towards the cheeks, upper cheeks and the ears and uh, start moving them in a V pole position so that you can slide across your face and you do this whole position through uh, the entire face. For the sagging jawline with the face yoga, you have the marionette lines uh, and you have the nasolabial folds and the smoker's lines where your lips have multiple lines. So you need to take your fingers and go around your upper lips and your lower chin level, lift up your sagging skin and also uh, give a well-defined uh, jawline and reduce your double chin also. So this face yoga will uh, tone your entire lower part of your face. For the mouth exercise to get nice plumpy lips, it's very important because there is a lot of collagen which is stored on your face. Now that will get loosened up. So it is very important that you uh, work around your uh, lips also. Today with a lot of, uh, you know, pouting of lips and a lot of uh, fillers and Botox is used on the face, this becomes a non-invasive method where you're going to use face, facial yoga, right? So this is very important and you can uh, do that by giving a broad smile, uh, showing the entire row of teeth, uh, say a nice O and say a nice E, thereby going an OE uh, kind of an uh, exercise. So you can see here is a smile and a kiss, that's an O and an E. You can do a tongue twister. You can roll your tongue by closing your mouth, touching all the parts of your face, down, side, up and down. You can do a wrinkle buster by just saying an O. You can exercise your jaw going up and down and happy hands and pull up your cheeks and lips and uh, smile uh, wider. So these are the exercises for your mouth. To ease the tension from your back, what is called the buffalo hump, and reduce that pound of fat which is stored on your back of your neck, you gently move your neck down and up, the chin touching your uh, chest and moving your neck at the back as much as possible. You can also do a right and the left movement of your uh, neck. You can also do exercises where you're trying to strengthen your uh, lateral muscles of your neck. So do this and uh, pout your lips into a kiss and stay in this position for at least 10 seconds and you will see that uh, that bump or hump uh, actually comes down. And uh, these are uh, simple exercises to reduce your neck rolls, whether it is in the front or at the back forward and backward movement of neck stretches, uh, giving a lot of force on the neck. Don't do it uh, uh, very vigorously. Do be very gentle when you do and the neck rotations uh, when you're doing a complete round rotations of your neck. The forehead and the lip region uh, overall together, you will start giving a kind of a freshened look for your skin. Next is the rollers that we uh, use. You have the jade rollers and the roll, uh, row squats rollers. So the jade rollers improve, increase the circulation, reduce inflammation, improve elasticity, stimulate lymphatic drainage, relieve tension and leaves a glowing skin. The directions given uh, are uh, so that you know it helps us uh, move uh, the jade rollers in the right angle. We have also the crow squats rollers and this reduces the puffiness and the under eye dark circles, helps the skin absorb the serum and the creams better, improves the skin elasticity, supports relaxation and soothes the anxiety, improves lymphatic drainage and promotes the blood circulation and even the skin tone. So the question which many people ask is, uh, you know, how about uh, what are the advantages about the rose squats or the jade? So here it's very evidently seen that the rose quartz has a lot more advantages than the jade. So if you have uh, both the road, uh, rollers, you know, you can use them uh, or you can alternate and use them. Both has its own advantages. For the gua sha, you can use the gua sha where you can see the red uh, part. That's the part where you use it uh, in those regions. So uh, for the eye, you have the uh, eye uh, parts, you have the temples, you have the back, you have the legs where you can use the gua sha. And uh, these are the positions or the directions in which you have to use for the forehead, for the glabella, for the eyelid, for the under eyes and uh, for the diagonal uh, nose slides, for the chin lifts and from the mouth and the cheeks. 
The face yoga's health benefits are it increases your movement, it glows up your skin, it develops and maintains good facial muscles, reduces lines and wrinkles, improves the under eye circles and reduces puffiness, tightens and lifts the sagging skin, promotes the overall better mental health and reduces muscular skeletal discomfort. We also have certain poses that we do with the uh, face yoga. So you have the giraffe face pose, wherein you lift up and you kiss the ceiling, hold there for uh, 25 seconds before you gently bring your uh, head down. So as you go up, you can pout your lips and this will give you a lot more uh, toned neck and chin area and correcting the sagging chin and the double chin areas. Next, you have the cheeky face pose. This is basically trying to make all sorts of faces uh, with your face. And uh, this would help you have a much better uh, toned looking uh, face. You can do a fish mouth face. You can uh, do a nice pout. You can have an expression, surprise expression face. You can, uh, you know, uh, have a cynical face. You can roll your eyes inwards, outwards, roll your tongue uh, on the sides and, uh, you know, move your face face on the right and the left and all this together you can do it about eight to ten times and uh, thereby you can have a toned face and a nice looking cheeks and uh, lips. The clown face pose is when you are using your lips are closed and you make a broad smile from year to year and then wrinkle your nose, stop smiling and rumble your lips. So by doing this, you will be able to have uh, a much more, uh, you know, tightened skin. You can reduce the laugh lines and the sagging skin around your mouth. You have the frown face pose, so you make a different uh, types of uh, uh, faces with your uh, uh, face and uh, thereby you will be able to see uh, that, you know, not only you tighten your eyes, you tighten your cheeks, your chin, your lips, your eyes. And uh, this exercise helps with your crow's feet, droopy eyelids and puffy eyes too. So it will help you with the forehead and the eyes too. The surprised face pose is like you're looking straight, raising your eyebrows as high as possible and then widen your eyes. And uh, this you can do eight to ten times. And uh, this is uh, but, uh, will definitely make you look uh, young. And this is the best uh, exercise where uh, it will make you uh, really look in awe of yourself. You have various yoga poses for glowing skin. You have Dhanurasana, you have Balasana, you have Sarvangasana, you have Bhujangasana, Halasana, Trikonasana and Sheetali Pranayama. So all of this together will also increase the blood circulation on your face, giving a lot of radiance to your face. And done doing this at least for uh, say uh, 10 to 15 counts every day would definitely make a lot of difference. So face yoga basically involves the faces, uh, facial exercises of the entire face, scalp and neck. And what we try to do is having a natural face lift with a non-surgical, non-invasive procedure. It will increase your blood circulation to the face. So more oxygen, more nutrients and thereby giving a good skin tone and color and less fine lines. It also increases the production of collagen and elastin, which are the proteins which plump up your skin, give the skin the strength, the rigidity and the elasticity and thereby preventing the wrinkles and sagging in the areas of the eyes, the jawline and the neck. It also brightens up your face, eliminating the old damaged skins, thereby giving you a better skin to absorb all the nice creams that you want to apply. It also stimulates the lymphatic system, thereby flushes out the toxins, the dirt, the bacteria and boosts your metabolism. It releases the tension and elevates the tightness around the neck muscles. It also helps relieve the TM joint or the temporomandibular joint dysfunction, which is a disorder that causes pain and compromised position of the joint and muscles surrounding the jaw. It also strengthens and relaxes, stretches the overworked uh, muscles, which results in a lot of pain around your joint. So this will actually release those pains. And uh, if you uh, start doing these exercises, it is actually at a zero cost. And by using good quality skincare products, you can actually start to enhance. You don't have to go in for any risky cosmetic surgeries. It also boosts your self-esteem and confidence and makes you look better and feel better. If you don't have all these uh, specialized gadgets, you can also use a spoon. You can stretch with your spoon by holding the spoon tightly between your lips. 
you can also hold the spoon like how we used to do the lemon and spoon race and you can see the muscles are really getting tightened and brightened. Here are a few more face yoga exercises which you can do to tighten and stretch it. your, um, you know, forehead muscles, your uh, your muscles around your cheeks, your chin, lifting up your cheeks and uh, chin and thereby reducing the sagginess. So I'm sure and confident that, you know, you will be able to uh, use all these uh, practices and uh, start following it up along with the practical session which follows this presentation. Thank you for a patient listening. So good evening, friends, and welcome to another amazing episode of Get In, Get Fit series. And uh, today we are going to have the facial yoga. So I urge all of you to mute yourself. Uh, and I will not be able to do that time and again. So kindly mute yourself, okay? And uh, number one is I want all of you to drink water. So if you have water next to you, please drink. As all of you know, to have a healthy skin, you need to have good amount of water. Number two is I urge all of you to switch on your cameras. This is not a, 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 you know, a session where I can talk to blank screen. So I urge if you want to be a part of this session, please switch on your cameras. And number two is uh, if you have any creams or anything, uh, then that is what is I want you to do. So if you washed your face neatly, so that's good. Otherwise, all these instructions, I you already know if you're a part of my sessions. Wash your face clean. See that there's nothing on your face. Number one, if you have a headband like this, then I would urge you to wear the headband uh, because this will uh, help you work out on your face itself. So this is another thing. Okay. So you can see because it's a practical session. Okay. I'm also wearing a, a neck bib. Uh, this is because we will. I'll be applying some creams, and I'm going to show you a lot of things. So, is that good? Okay. And now, uh, generally, when we apply uh, things on our face, right? Uh, we need to understand two aspects of it. Number one is uh, what I'm going to teach you is a non-invasive procedure which means I am not going to inject anything or you are not going to inject anything on your face, right? So it is very important for us to understand that in today's world, there are a lot of uh, people who plump up their face or increase their, uh, you know, elasticity and firmness of the face only because they want, uh, so I repeat, uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, people uh, getting some fillers done uh, or, you know, something added on their face. So ours is going to be a non-invasive technique. Number two is we need some lubricant on the face, right? So uh, if you have nothing at home, you can take coconut oil and apply on your face. And if you have some serums, if you have some creams, I generally use a brand of product where I uh, have evaluated my skin and I, I know exactly what my skin needs. In case you want such uh, sessions with me, that is also free. I can do that for you. It will take me another 40 minutes, which will be done on a later time, right? So for now, I'm going to take my serum and which is the thinnermost part of uh the application which goes closer to the face, right? So this is the first thing I apply and I gently massage it in a circular motion. For people who don't have it, it's better you uh, use coconut oil at least because you need to have a lubrication, okay? And you can keep doing it with me because there are a lot of exercises I won't be able to otherwise uh, you know, spend time with each. Second, if you have something like an eye cream, uh, that is another very important uh, aspect. So eye cream always, uh, you know, you should take it only with your ring finger. So like I have taken it with my ring finger. Okay, can you see? And apply it on the top of your eyes, on the sides and on the bottom. And gently give a massage, circular motion, just so that you can apply the 
cream all around your eye. Okay. So, this is the next step. Okay. And the last one is if you're going to have any other cream which is going to be a lifting cream or is going to be a cream which will help you, uh, you know, have a like a moisturizer. So, you can apply. Generally, the spots to apply are, if you can look at the way I have applied, you can apply on the forehead, on the cheeks, on the nose, on both sides, on the chin and on the neck. And gently just spread it across, okay? So, just spread it across. I'll teach you uh, the, uh, the strokes and everything as I do it. So, you should have some amount of lubrication on your face when you do this massage. It's very important. Okay. Great. Wonderful. So now let's start. Okay. Um, if you are wearing any rings or anything, like I have just removed mine. So if you're wearing any rings, you can remove those because you don't want that to get stuck on your face. That's number one. Number two is uh, today I will be using three techniques. Number one is with hands. So most of you can follow that. I will also be using what is called a gua sha. Gua sha. And I will be using a roller, a face roller. I have two gua shas and two face rollers. I have face rollers in rose quartz and jade. Okay. So, can you see? One is pink in color, one is green in color. I have two. I have one in uh, quartz, rose quartz and jade. I also have gua sha. I have gua sha also in uh, two types. That is in jade. Uh, but in jade itself, I have it in two types. And you can see the end of the types are different. So, uh, when you have things like this, it would help you. Uh, actually do your, uh, you know, drainage, lymphatic drainage better. So, I'll be showing you this. And the third is I also have a face massager. Okay. This massager comes with a lot of, uh, you know, additive uh, control pads where I can do it. This is only going to add wherein, you know, I can uh, do a regulated way. That's all. It is going to give me an optimal pressure and an optimal speed to massage my cups. So, these are the three things. I will mostly do it with my hands. So, if you don't have all these things, you can also follow with me. So, that will be the maximum thing that I am doing with, right? So, uh, let's get started, friends. I hope all of you are ready right now, okay? So, I have pinned myself so that, you know, you can see my face clearly. I hope my face is as close to the camera as possible. Okay. So, let's start with the first exercise. The first exercise is we are going to start with the forehead. Okay. Now, before I even start any exercise, I need to see I have applied the cream well. And I have to say good morning to my face. Right. I know it's uh, different parts of the world. We are logged in and, uh, you know, we are in different time zones. But have we said good morning to our face? The answer is a no. So to say good morning, we need to start tapping our face. So can we start tapping? So how do you tap? You take your hands and you just gently with your fingers, these four fingers, just gently tap your face. Okay, tap your face. Go up till the neck region. Don't stop only at the face. Do it from the top at least four or five times. This is number two, number three, number four, and five. So friends, now we have tapped our face. The reason we tap our face is we will have some tension, some pressure, on our face before we have started this session, right? So, we need to release all that, all that. And there is a technique called the emotional freedom technique. In that technique, we tap near our eyebrows. 
we tap at the end that is near the temple we tap below the eye we tap the above the upper lip or below the nose you can use these two fingers you can tap just in that chin region go down in the center of your neck and then go to your collarbone okay so these are the re uh, regions where you need to actually tap yourself right so it's very important we tap and the next is we will do simple breathing exercise i want you to keep both your feet on the ground that's number 1 number 2 is sit in a very upright position because when you breathe if you are not sitting in a right position you will be causing some uneven pressure inside and that will itself cause you some muscular pain in the back so feet on the ground shoulder straight spine up line and now look straight hands upwards place it on your thigh take a deep breath in from your nose hold breathe out through your mouth take another deep breath through your nose hold breathe out through your mouth the last time take a deep breath through your nose hold breathe out through your mouth excellent friends so this is very important you can at least spend 5 minutes on this breathing exercise right now i will be just doing it one after the other so i want you to just be a little more mindful now the first exercise as i told you will be for your forehead right so in the forehead or on the forehead you can understand there will be what is called the frown lines when you frown yourself can you see these lines coming up and then the next line you will have is near the place where you wear your bindi where you will have the eleven lines or white white lines straight lines here right now you can remove your bindi if you want and then start the exercises so that you can Uh, apply equal pressure in this region we are going to do some exercises on the third eye region also because that's a very important acupressure point right so let's start we are starting with the forehead right so the first exercise hold your fingers close to the center gently move from the center to the end come till the temple the temple is a point which has a dip here come to the temple and gently release right so let's do it 3 to 5 times always keep your thumb at the temple so that you know from where to start and where to end number 4 and number 5 wonderful wonderful okay so next exercise is going to be for these ones so gently again thumb at the temple region only a pointing finger and gently move your fingers on the right on the left on the right on the left so keep doing that you can do this for at least a minute because most of us will have the eleven lines near our eyebrows in the center right that is important next now you want to get this forehead a lot more straight this is also an area which actually makes us look very beautiful so take your fingers and gently go up to the hairline can you see the hairline okay so from your eyebrows little pressure go up to the hairline eyebrows up to the hairline eyebrows up to the hairline very good very good so you can do this and you can hold it for few seconds before you release when you do these exercises if you have some mild headache or you are having some anxiety issue some worries you are restless these exercises will actually calm you right so the next one we are going to do is we are going to now finish the forehead with this last exercise which is going to be acupressure of the third eye now when you do this you go in circular motion single finger 
gently close your eyes and just go three, two, and one. Excellent. So this is going to help us again, as I told you, it's very important, it's very vital that, you know, we uh, take care of our uh, uh, face, skin, our forehead, and it is very vital that we work towards it in a very important way, right? So, great. Now, let us get started again. Let me pin myself. I could hear some sound and that's why. Okay. So, next, after our forehead, let's go to the next most important part of our face, which is the eye region. Now, this eye region will uh, tell us how our internal body is. Under the eye, if you have dark circles, that means you're not sleeping well. All of us know that as we drank water, water is important for our health. Similarly, we need to sleep well, at least six to eight hours for an adult, right? So six to eight, uninterrupted, good quality time, right? Next is you need to hold only with your ring finger, okay? No other finger. So now the first exercise, go towards the center, towards the middle of the nose and gently with the ring finger, go below the eye and end in the temple region. Can you see? Okay. So do that. Second time. Okay. Third time. So you can do all these exercises at least for one to two minutes. In my theoretical part, I will tell you how many minutes you can do maximum. So don't overdo it, but you can do it till at least one minute safe, right? So you're holding it, you're going below. You can touch this bone here, okay? And then go up, right? Now, similarly, for the upper eyelid, hold Go to the upper bone region. Close your eyes gently and go to the temple. Let's do it one more time. Go to the upper bone region and then to the temple region. One last time. Excellent. So when you do like this, you will be relieving of the stress from the eye. Another very important area is on the entire eyelid, correct? So again, with your ring finger alone, you're going to hold it. This time, you're going to flatten your ring finger, gently close your eyes and go around. Only on your eyelid. Gentle pressure, no need to give so much pressure. A very gentle pressure. Very good. Excellent. Now we are going to work towards the end of the eye. This is a place where we have what is called the crow's feet. So you would have seen a crow, right? The crow's feet. So you will have here lines there. Usually when you laugh, it will come. So let's start with that. The first exercise for the crow's feet would be gentle. Only one side ring finger. One side. So both the sides you can do it simultaneously. One side ring finger. Okay. So this is a simple exercise. Another exercise you can do is you can hold. And with the other side hand you can gently lift that area up. Okay. You can hold it with the same side hand. And with the other hand you can gently lift it up. Okay. You can do at least 5 to 10 times gently. You don't have to pull your skin. Now we can do it on the other side. So hold and gently lift it. For people who are wearing contact lenses or, you know, any other eyewear, don't wear eyewear when you do these exercises because, you know, it will uh, hinder your work, right? So, for you to get best out of it, you can do it this way. Next is, we go to the 
complete nose. They say uh, the nose is very important part of the face. It should be nice and sharp. So let's make that way. So you're going to have your two fingers, your two pointing fingers to be used. Go to the center and now go all the way from the cheek, go to the temple. Push it up, okay? Let's repeat from the center, down and up, okay? A little lower down on the nose, again on the cheeks. Go down the cheeks this time and above. Again, mid of the nose, go down the cheeks and then above. Give gentle pressure. No need to exert so much of pressure, but then keep doing it. Okay. Let's do it the last time. The nose down, go up till the upper part of your ear. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. Now, another exercise for your cheeks. Take your pointing finger and your thumb and make like a loop. Like a loop and place it on your cheeks. Can you place it on your cheeks like this? Right? Now pull it upwards. Stretch your hand and pull it upwards. Okay? Pull it upwards. Very good. You can keep like this for at least one minute. Okay? So, this will again make your cheek muscles look good. Most uh, people put what is called fillers or Botox on their face to, uh, you know, pull up or push their cheeks up. Correct? So, as I told you, facial yoga is a non-invasive method. We are just going to do exercises, thereby tighten and lift our Cheeks. We are not uh, going to do anything which we are going to put it inside. So that's the advantage of doing facial yoga. Right? Next is we are going to do on our cheeks. So for the cheeks, you will be doing a roll. The roll should always be upwards. Okay. So let's start. Go from down and up. Okay. Stop at the ear. Don't bring it down. Again. Stop. You can do both hands. And stop. Again. Stop. Okay. So this is for your cheeks. Now another very important area of the face is your lip region. Right? So, in the lip region, we have a lot of muscles around our lips. Right? And today, I'm sure you all must have seen a lot of selfies taken with pouting lips. Right? So, we need to have good lips or good fuller lips. Right? So, let's start doing the first exercise for our lips. Again, your pointing finger and your thumb. Hold just below the nose. Couple it below your lips. Pull. 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 Right? Next is, there is something called a Cupid's bow here. This looks like a bow, right? To have a nice Cupid bow, usually you will see people putting some fillers on their upper lips, right? To give it a nice lifted up look. So, let's do some exercise for that. Okay. So, take your pointing fingers and just go gently. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. Similarly, let's do on the lower. One, two. Lower go upwards. One, two. One, two. Next is for your jawline. For your jawline, take your fingers, your pointing and your thumb, uh, pointing and your middle finger. Roll it nicely to make it like a V. And now push it upwards. 
hold, push it upwards. Hold, push it upwards. I'm only doing counts of three or five. You can do at least up till 10, depending on the time you have, right? Next, we are going to go to the neck. Neck is a very important part. So, from the neck, how we are going to do is, we are going to do 32 strokes on the neck. So, when I say 32, it means 16 on one side and 16 on the other. Okay? So, let's get started. Use your entire hand and move upwards. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now alternate on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. The very important aspect when you are doing massages is at every given point of time, your hand should be on your face. Number one. Number two, you can switch on the AC. You can, you know, sit in an environment which is very calm, not much of noise. If you love music, you can put some light, mild music and do it. It will also relax you, right? So now, after doing 16 on one side, when we go to the cheeks part, it will become 8. 16 divided by 2, 8. So 8 on this cheek, 8 on the other cheek. So let's start doing same stroke. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, and 8. Crossover. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Wonderful. Now next is the forehead. So in the forehead region, we are going to do uh, what we said, a half of 8. So it is going to be four, four on one side and four on the other. So let's start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and four. Excellent. Now I will show you with the others. So just in case you have these machines, you can use them. So these are monitored, uh, you know, RPM, which means revolutions per minute. So what you just need to do is put it in a low vibratory mode and go. It will just have to roll it around your forehead, your nose, under the eye, on your cheeks, lower, on your nose. Do it on the other side. And, okay. Roll it on your upper lip, your lower lip, and on your neck. Most of the time when you do these exercises, try to close your eyes and do, as I told you, it will give you much better effects. Now, for people who have your rollers, your face rollers, you can see these rollers are one side will be big, the other side is small, right? So, you can use any roller. So, I'm going to just show you some techniques. You hold it. That's why the center part is there. For broader regions, you have to completely roll it one side. So, it is always from the center to the opposite. Don't go from one side to the other like that. No. From the center, out. Center, out. Center, out. Center, out. Similarly, Center, out. Center, out. Center, out. Okay? Center, out. Center, out. Center, out. 
for the nose region you can go with the smaller one so downwards okay downwards and for the neck region again use the bigger one go from top to bottom now why do we do this there is lymphatic drainage which happens wherein all the toxins will come down your neck will have a nice etched neck it's very important to have good looking necks okay and you can remove your double chin also when you do this okay so this is for your rollers and now for the gua sha so for the gua sha you can see there is one which has this hook you can keep it in the center it will define your jaw line well and a good jaw line means again you look very young and it will remove all your sagging skin it will remove the wrinkles the fine lines so very important this is the gua sha with the bigger part can you see this is the bigger part you go upwards so on the face it's always upwards always upwards okay and again on the forehead it's outside great so now we come to alphabets that you can use to actually tighten your skin right so uh, the basic alphabets that you use are o and e so let's start with an o and e so sit again with your feet on the ground nicely upright position and say an o and an e when you say an e give a nice stretch let's do it together three times o and e o and an e o and an e i don't know how many of you are able to appreciate my neck muscles are getting tightened when i do that so let's do another o and e where you can see o and e can you see the neck neck muscles are getting tightened another very important is kissing the roof so what we are going to do is we are going to tilt our head as much as possible and kiss the roof and take three breaths up and then come down do it gently if you have vertigo or high blood pressure be careful when you do this okay so let's move our head up kiss gently come down let's do it again excellent so you can repeat this this will actually tone your neck muscles remove unnecessary fat from your back of your neck and also tone your neck your chin and your cheeks right a next uh, exercise which i'm going to teach is the fish exercise right so let's suck in our cheeks okay so this will reduce the fatty cheeks that we have and give us a nice toned neckline and the cheek line let's start So this is called the fish exercise. It's like a fish mouth, right? So it's called the fish mouth exercise. Do it, and then you will see how your face muscles actually slim down. When you slim down on the face itself, people will start saying, "Oh, hey, you've lost a lot of weight," because it will definitely define your face much better, right? Now, we are going to also do some exercises so that we can remove this nasolabial fold can you see this nose to lips 
this fold, right? And some more lines which are around this face area, which makes us look a little older, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to hold, go opposite side and keep lifting. Lift, one hand lifts it up, the other hand lifts its side. Can you see that difference? So the opposite hand goes down the cheek, lifts it up. The other hand takes it right from the nose to the ear. Let's do it together. Great. Now let's go to the opposite side. Okay. So now with the opposite side, hold. This goes up. This goes side. Up. Side. Up. Side. Up. Very important, the reason is when we do this, all these lines which we have on the face, uh, see the more we tighten our skin, the more beautiful our skin will look, right? And these exercises when done uh, will actually tighten our skin. Many questions are asked like, you know, how long can I do it? How many hours can I do the face yoga? Or how many days in a week can I do? Generally, you can do twice a week. That is ideal. And if you're doing it, you can do it for 30 minutes. That's also fine. You don't have to exaggerate and keep doing it because you will overdo it, right? So 30 minutes is good enough. And uh, when you do it on at least twice a week, that's more than enough, right? So uh, this will actually tighten your skin. A very important thing is, you know, eat very healthy food and drink lots of water and have a good night's sleep to actually have much more radiant skin. Most of the problems on the skin are uneven skin tone. Some people have pigmentation, menopausal age. Some people have some dark spots, fine lines. So all these will actually go away when you start doing these exercises on a regular basis, right? So you, if you have not done before, then take a picture of yourself today and do this regularly and take a picture of yourself at least three months later and you can tell yourself how much of difference the face will have. So that is the most important aspect and you can actually look as young as you were if you... Okay, so uh, what I was trying to tell was, uh, you know, you need to have a healthy diet. You definitely need to drink lots of water and uh, definitely you need to sleep well to have a glowing skin. Uh, and when you do these uh, facial yoga exercises over a period of time, which is generally, they say, three months minimum, you will see a lot of changes on your face. You will see the uneven texture getting better. You will see the uh, pigmentations actually reducing. Many people would have uh, pigmentation here, especially if you're about 35. Today, we see a lot of pigmentation on the skin here, uneven skin tone, uneven skin uh, radiance. That is, you know, you will see that they are having dull and patchy skin. Uh, you will also see a lot of acne and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, pustules on the face. Uh, so when you do these exercises, it actually cleanses your uh, face also, removes out all the toxins and it will flush away all the, uh, you know, all these uh, lymph, uh, the drainage that I taught you. If you do that, it will flush away that. So another way to do that is you can hold your hands this way in the center uh, lock your uh, thumb in the center, okay? In the center, lock your thumb, hold and do this, okay? So lock your fingers in the center, hold it on the lower part, go from your nose and stretch, okay? Again, one last time and stretch, wonderful. Okay, so this is another one which will give you a well-defined neck and also, uh, you know, drain off all the uh, unnecessary toxins from your face. And it, after the face yoga, what I have generally felt is, you know, you get a very calm and relaxing mind and you are able to sleep better. Uh, you feel nice, I guess, you know, that feel good factor. And there's a lot of self-love in this, right? So now, uh, you know, you can raise your hands and I can probably unmute uh, you or you can unmute yourself and uh, you can all share your thoughts uh, on this session. So, uh, 
yes, if anybody wants to raise your hand and talk, or you can yourself uh, say. Malti, uh, you want to say? You can unmute yeah, it. Uh, yeah. Haven't I? I I am I have unmuted. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Yeah, we can hear. Me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is really very nice. Just doing it like for just uh, two or three times, you know, uh, following you. Um, actually, I feel a bit sleepy. I feel a bit relaxed, uh, especially on my eyes and uh, you know, uh, here this portion. I feel a bit sleepy you now. Actually, it's so good. And I'm just thinking maybe if I do it. The only thing is, I, uh, how do we remember the sequence, and uh, how do we do this? And uh, th there was a stone that you talked about. How do you spell that word? Uh, it's called the gua sha. G u a S H A Gua Sha. Can, can you come again? G. Uh, I can put it on the group if you want to. Uh, I and in the PowerPoint presentation, uh, it will be there. The spelling would be there. Gua Sha G U A S H A Gua Sha. And uh, the uh, stones I was talking was rose quartz and jade. Jade, what we wear yeah, in jewelry, yeah. and the rose quartz, the rollers. Yeah. So uh, we can uh, get right. that. Any uh, further questions, you can definitely, uh, you know, contact me. I will help you on that. That's not a problem. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Any other questions? Any uh, updates or feedbacks you want to give off the sessions? Yes, Raina. Over to you. Uh, Ma'am, it's a really wonderful session. I While we were doing the exercises, I could feel how much tension I was holding here. Like, while we were doing those exercises, I could feel a release. Um, I just wanted to know, I've got the roller and washa. It's I've got the jade. Uh, is there any difference, like any energetic something between the jade and the rose quartz? Should I have a rose quartz uh, roller and washa also? Or is this a jade one enough? Uh, yes, very nice question. Uh, each of these uh, stones as such, has uh, some kind of an energy giving uh, property uh, and uh, rose quartz is uh, basically a very simple one which can be used by anybody that's it okay uh, jade also has its benefit and in the powerpoint i have put the benefits of both of them uh, and if you look at it uh, more or less it is the same uh, you know, they say unis bees ka farak hai. So it's hardly a difference. Uh, if you have one, I would say use it to the maximum before you buy another one. Because today there are even more rollers. Uh, there are rollers with metals and, you know, so many things which has magnetic energy coming out and all that uh, with these uh, things. For people who are, uh, who, uh, you know, work a lot with aura like I do. Uh, you know, I work with uh, both Reiki and Pranic and I believe in crystals and you can see I'm wearing them in my hands too. So for a person like me who does that, uh, it really makes a big difference. The reason is uh, because I'm very particular uh, and uh, it is very important that, uh, 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 you know, th that thereby we give the right kind of energy. But uh, that is why in the initial part of the session today, uh, I asked you to uh, sit erect and do three times breathing. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. So that is one. Second is we are having a very positive intention to when we are doing. I'm sure all of you came with that expectation that, you know, you're going to get a lot more relief and understanding from the session. So that's number two. Number three is you remember we did this tapping and I told you there is EFT. So I have a slide on EFT also, and I'll be explaining about that EFT, which will help you understand that these coins, which I allowed you to tap, which actually would release the tension on your face. And I also did an exercise of the acupressure point on your third eye. So that will also help you focus and concentrate more on what you're doing right now. So we uh, subtly, we try to, uh, you know, work out on our energy levels in our body also. Thereby, you will get the best out of the whole session. So, uh, very rightly asked, energy levels are there. Each of these uh, materials do have some properties which are good. But as I told you, it is a very subtle differences 
on the whole jade and rose quartz are the most uh, uh, you know most uh, buyable uh, product that you get in the market today so yes thank you any other questions or uh, anybody wants to unmute and tell me about the session yes uh, ushama excellent session uh, dr vidya i like it very much and i got so much relaxed also oh thank you so much shama thank you so much thank yes, you. you it's it's a very awesome session that's what i can say thank much you. relaxation near the eyes whole face neck everything thank you i want all of you to sleep well tonight right so you know when you do yeah. this you can have a relaxed day and it's a psychological uh, feel that you know you are doing something for yourself this is your me time you are pampering yeah. yourself so that's also very important in life very good yes sudha what about yes what about the third one massage you said no where can we get it uh, i will share the links also uh, on the group don't worry i will share all those links thank you so much vidya bye bye thank you ma thank you yes sudha ma you can unmute and say excellent session thank you so much thank you sudama thank you so much yes surya ma thank you thank you da so then a lot everyone who is on that you please thank you thank you ma thank you so look at sudama ah yes vishali thank you doctor always you are giving uh, jewels diamonds so many things so it's very wonderful session really very happy thank <laughs> you so time. much thank you so much thank you thank you so much yes solochna unmute panikonga unmute ah it's an excellent session ma'am uh, thank you usually ma usually uh, i got uh, dry eyes and uh, dry mouth uh, when when tapping uh, above and below the eyes uh, it's uh, get a uh, very relaxed uh, so uh, it gives more relaxation before sleep uh, if you do this uh, we will get a deep sleep absolutely uh, they say you can do it at least 10 15 minutes before you sleep generally they say it's a routine that you need to follow so before you go to sleep you wash your face wash your feet and hands and apply some cream and do a gentle massage if you're not able to do so many elaborate massage also a gentle massage tapping and you know a uh, gratitude and then you go to sleep you'll sleep much better the quality of your sleep improves yes ma'am thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am so uh, i think i've given all of you an opportunity to speak so uh, any other questions i'm always free take care friends bye 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 thank, thank you, you thank you ma'am thank you thank you bye bye thank you